Welcome everyone to lesson 10 for the Generative AI for Beginners course. This course is readily available for you on GitHub with the very same name, so make sure you head over to GitHub and have a look at it. My name is Omele Zadigo and I'm a cloud advocate at Microsoft who's ready to show you how you can build low-code AI applications using Generative AI. So, are you ready? You must be wondering, where do we start? In previous lessons, you looked at how you can build solutions using generative AI and also some of the technical skills or technical background that you had. In a case where you don't have a technical background or technical expertise and you want to build the solutions and use generative AI without needing to build a large language model, you came to the right place because this lesson focuses on how you can be able to build solutions that uses some of the generative AI models that we have within our local development platform. Building apps and solutions has become more easier for traditional developers and non-developers through the use of de local development platforms. Those platforms enables you, enable you to build apps and solutions with little to no code and this is achieved by providing a visual development environment that enables you to drag and drop some of the controls and components that you're going to use to build these apps and solutions. The apps and solutions that you are building are developed even much more faster and uses less resources that you may need for the solution. In this lesson, we're going to dive deep into how to use low code and how to enhance the low code solutions that you build using generative AI within the Power Platform. Okay, in previous lessons you, underst you understood the concept of generative AI and prompting and all of the other important things that we're going to use. In this lesson we're going to look at how you can use low code to use those generative AI models, which then brings you to have this understanding that AI is no longer a niche capabilities for pro developers and data scientists. Actually, it invites in citizen developers, people who do not have a technical background, to use AI models within a local development platform like the Power Platform to actually build a solution. Right, AI is imperative and a expected is is an imperative and an expected offering in our day-to-day -day productivity. In this case, you can think about. PowerPoint designer where it gives you suggestions on some of the designs that you can use on your PowerPoint slides. And another example is Microsoft Teams where you would find that you get a transcript of the meeting that you are part of, even during the meeting. Last but not least, Microsoft 365 Copilot capabilities that are the new capabilities that we have. What does this mean for makers in within the low code space? or within Power Platform. This is where the making experience in the Power Platform as part of the Microsoft Cloud offering takes the same principle of bringing AI capabilities to aid every single maker in our platform. But in this case, we need to understand what is the Power Platform. The Power Platform provides an organization or organizations with the opportunity to empower their teams to build their own solutions and their own apps through an intuitive low-code or no-code development environment. This environment helps simplify the process of building solutions and with the Power Platform solutions can be built in days or weeks instead of months and years if you had the technical background of using programming languages. The Power Platform consists of five key products, Power Apps for app development, Power Automate for automation processes, Power BI for business intelligence and business analytics, Power Pages for website development, and Power Virtual Agents for that chatbot experience into your solutions. But how does this fit into Generative AI? How can we be able to bring this Generative AI within the Power Platform? What does it mean to have generative AI within the Power Platform? So to enhance local development and application with generative AI is a key focus area for the Power Platform. The goal is to enable everyone to build AI-powered apps, sites, dashboards, and automate processes with this AI without requiring any data science expertise. Like I said earlier on, it's no longer a niche capability for just developers, professional developers, and data scientists experts. 
This is achieved by integrating generative AI into the low-code development experience in Power Platform in the form of Copilot and also add in other AI capabilities using AI Builder. Okay, you can see that Copilot is part of the Power Platform now and is actually a generative AI capability that is available within the Power Platform. How does this fit within the Microsoft Cloud? Because of the fully integrated Microsoft Cloud and our investment in OpenAI, we're able to apply generative AI, and which is large language models that are already trained, into the very fabric of our products. The co-pilots that are available within the Microsoft Cloud is about making AI a companion to help do your job better and faster. So AI becomes your real collaborator that generates content, sparks creativity, and completes your work. In this case, we're looking at how we can be able to use generative AI within the Power Platform in the form of Copilot. So Copilot is an assistant that enables you to build Power Platform solutions by describing your requirements in a series of conversational steps using natural language. You can use Copilot-driven functionalities to, as a feature in your app screens to enable users to uncover insights through conversational interactions. AI Builder as well is also part of the capabilities that you can use within the Power Platform for AI. But we'll cover that a little bit later on. So, how can you look at how generative AI looks like within the Power Platform? One of the examples that I can actually give you is how we can build an automation or a process flow using Copilot. And like I mentioned earlier on, you do this by a series of conversational steps using your natural language, which is your everyday English. In this case, we want a Power Automate flow, automation, to look at on a daily basis to collect all of the performed actions from Power Apps. For those that have passed, it needs to compose an email and attach the invoice to SAP. And then for those that failed, it needs to send an email back. Once we send this specific um, prompt into Copilot, Copilot then generates a Power Automate flow or our automation and shows us the different triggers and actions that we are going to use within that specific flow to meet the specific requirements that we put into our prompt. That is how you can be able to use Copilot within Power Platform in the form of generative AI. How can we actually bring in some of the other capabilities with AI within the Power Platform? And we can achieve this using AI Builder. AI Builder is a low-code AI capability available in the Power Platform that enables you to use AI models to help you automate processes and predict outcomes. With AI Builder, you can bring AI to your apps and flows that connect to your data in Dataverse or in various cloud data sources such as SharePoint, OneDrive. And within AI Builder, you have two types of AI models, pre-built AI models and custom AI models. Pre-built AI models are AI models that are ready to use and are already trained by the Microsoft team and are available within the Power Platform. They help you add intelligence to your app and flows without having to gather data and then build, train, and publish your own models. But you can also use these models to automate processes and predict those outcomes. With custom AI models, you can bring your own model into AI Builder so that it can be able to function like any AI model or AI Builder custom model. Allowing you to train the model, you can use these AI models to, to automate processes and predict outcomes in both Power Apps and Power Automate. So, some of the available AI models that you see on the screen within AI Builder are for document processing, and some of these are pre-built AI Builder models. For an example, the form processing AI model is available so that you can be able to extract information from your forms, and if you want to if you want to detect language in a specific text or have sentiment analysis, you can use some of the pre-built AI models for language. And you can also have some of the AI models to detect specific objects on a picture or detect specific text or recognize specific text using the pre-built AI builder models. 
We're going to look at a specific example in this lesson on how you can use some of those AI builder models to actually add in artificial intelligence into your solution. That is it for this specific lesson, but you're going to see more of those examples within this lesson so that you can be able to use generative AI within your power platform or low code solution, and then add in another element of AI within that specific solution using AI Builder, looking at the different AI models, for an example, a pre-built model. And we're gonna dive deeper into pre-built models versus custom models.